Well, hello, good evening. Hello, good welcome. evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Welcome, welcome. Let me see. We'll begin here shortly. And let me see. Notebook. All right, welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Well, hello, Alvin. Welcome, welcome, Juan Jose, Doris, and Carlos, and Thelma. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hi. Let me see. Okay, let me see. All right, so we are, we are going to begin unit two, right, in relation to logistics, all right, la logisticas, right, the logistics of the workforce. In this case, we're going to be talking about work-related issues related, in, let me see, Jackie. Hello, Jackie, welcome, welcome. In relation to the main idea that oversees the logistics in a business level, right? We're talking about the business level, and then at the end, if we have time, we will do uh, an activity to relax a little bit and be able to speak and communicate with your classmates with some few uh, questions that I have for you at the end, and you can communicate, talk, and conversate in the English language to promote the speaking skills that you are so required to do. Now, when we, when we talk about logistics, remember this is a two week topic. There are, very, there are only like eight or nine pages, right? Eight or nine pages in unit two. So I have to expand the topic. Right? So if we do like two pages a day, en cuatro días terminamos la unidad, right? So we have to expand it and we also have to do our own critical thinking analysis in regards to logistics. Now, I hope some of you already saw or maybe gave a little view to the topic in the book. And that way you can have a better idea and better understanding of the topic because remember that in this unit we are going to do an activity it's going to be individually an activity individual where i'm going to give two prizes all right where i'm going to give two prizes to two winners all right so if you if you win i will contact you and then we will go from there okay remember when we do an activity that is going to be pretty much compensated i always want you to do the best okay do the best you can in in everything that you do whether it's here or in life always do your best right at least you can say well at least i tried right for lo menos traté, right that, that's the mentality always doing positive things right now um 
let me see. Yesterday I sent, yesterday night, right before one o'clock, I sent everyone's grades, okay? Everyone finished, right? Todos terminaron las tareas, so I appreciate everyone for doing it. Eh, no sé, no hubo ninguna, como decir, Henry, en el área administrativa, right? Everything was great. No calls on that, uh, on that perspective. So I want to thank every one of you for uh, finishing the homework in the platform, right? There are some that already finished everything, right? And there's some that finished unit two and the exam so congratulations on that and i already sent your grades let me see let me get my other laptop right here remember i'm going to emphasize this remember if you come in any trouble with a platform please contact me okay and i will gladly help you no tengan pena. Do not be shy to contact me. All right. It's better to contact me than administration contacting you. Okay. Remember that. I will always do what I can for you. Always. Let me get this. Okay. Once they start loading right here, we will begin with the first attendance, right? Hello, Rolando, Freddy's, welcome, Neftali, Jarvin Hello. connected, all right, welcome, Edwin, and Glenda, right? For those of you joining in Janari here, Jackie also, right? Okay, let me see. I'm going to begin the first attendance. So if you're here, just say present. Abigail. Abigail, okay, not here. Blanca, Blanca, okay. Brenda, Brenda, okay. Carlos. Good evening, teacher. All right, welcome. Let me see. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. All right. Great. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, no answer. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Let me see. Glenda. Present. All right, great. Let me see. Iris. Iris. It is okay. No answer. Uh, Jackie. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. Juan Jose. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla? Carla? Okay, no answer. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, no answer. Neftali? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. Rolando? Hello, hello. All right. Let me see. Teacher, Telma. I am here. Sorry Telma. for late. Okay, no problem. Telma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari. I'm here. Okay, thank you. And finally, finalmente, Alvin. Present teacher. All right. Let me see. Okay, Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris. Yes, teacher. Okay. I am here. Okay, great. Let me change. Le voy a cambiar aquí que entro. All right. No problem. Let me change it. All 
All right. Great. Okay, class. Let me see. Okay, let's continue. And we are going to begin unit two. So please, if you have your book already printed, or if you're looking at it in your computer, please go to the first page of unit two. Unit two. And it's on page 17, right? Page 17. Okay, let's begin. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Okay, Rolando, can you read what you see, please? Okay, unit, unit two, logistics, seven RS of logistics. Seven R's. Seven R's, seven R's of logistics. Definition and questions, Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate four, okay. class number six. Okay, intermediate, intermediate. Intermediate, intermediate. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Four. Very good, good yeah. job. Thank you, Rolando. So this is going to be well, basically the, the agenda, but if we have time, we're going to do uh, the speaking activity and conversation at the end, so you can finish with relaxation and with great speaking abilities. Now, remember, I mentioned earlier, right? Logistics, logistics. It's a long topic, it's two weeks. So be prepared for this. Let's look at, let's look at um, the first page, okay? This is page 17. And can you begin reading, please? Mm. Neftali. Unit two, I will be able to explain the relevance of the seven RS in logistics. Seven R's. Seven R's. Very good, in logistics, continue. Let's start. What are the responsibilities of, lo of our logistic? No. <laughs> Logistic. Of a logis logisticians. Eso. What do you think logistics is about? Okay, so keep this in mind because we are go I'm going to ask you these two questions at the end, right? So be prepared to answer those questions. What are the responsibilities of a logistician, right? So what 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 are they in charge of, right? I'm going to give you a a little bit of info, extra information that is not in the book, okay? But is relevant to the topic. And what do you think logistics is about, right? And I gave you a brief definition down here to better understand this knowledge, right? Because it's like, bueno, yo ni sé que Nico es logística, right? I don't even know what logistics is, right? So if you're asking yourself that question, I have it right here, a little bit brief. Right, it may expand a little bit, but this is like, for example, the the core of the definition. Okay, thank you, Neftali. And let me see. Mm -hmm. Edwin, can you read the instructions, please? Yes, teachers. Um, the the ones that are in yellow, right? Oh, I'm uh, sorry. You're talking about the book, right? Yes. Okay. Read the conversation between Alex and Pam about some issues with their other sports and their distribution centers. Okay, very good, right? So we're going to read this conversation and it's between Alex and Pam. And what they're going, what they're talking about is some issues, right? Uh, what are issues? There's some issues. Temas? Okay, very good, very good. Anyone else? 
issues. It's like I think error. It's, uh, it's like a problem, right? It's also when, problems, when, right? Yeah, when someone has a, 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 a something to fix, you know, there is a issues right yeah. there. Esas cuestiones, right? Those uh -huh. cuestionamientos, right? <laughs> very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Now, with their order, right? With their order forms. Order forms are those that you, like when someone, for example, you want to order online, just to give an example, and you would like to order uh, a laptop, right? The place where you are going to make the, the buy, they're going to do an order form, right? Una orden de venta, right? Or de, de pedido, what they call it, right? order forms and their distribution center. So we're going to focus on these points with Alex and Pam. Okay, I'm going to select, Alex is going to be um, Glenda. No, Pam is going to be Glenda and um, Alex is going to be Alvin. Okay. Hello, Alvin. Okay, not answering. Maybe he's busy. And let me go with. Um, sorry, I have problem. Right? Okay, no problem. I understand. No problem, Alvin. I'm going to select um, Rolando. Okay. I'm Alex. Yes. Sales will go down this month. Sales, no. Sales. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sales will go down this month. Pam, there was a problem with the, with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Very good. Excellent. Oh, no. Please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. Okay, temperature, temperature. temperature. I already did, but there is something I had to tell you. One of, one of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call I will call them personally to request to the damaged batteries to be sent to a manufacturer. They will know what to do. They will know, know. They will know yes. what to do. Very good. Excellent. So as you can okay. see here, as you can see here, all right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Rolando and Glenda. Now we have here, all right, we have some issues here, right? We have a little bit of dilemma. Right? What is crate? What is the word crate here? One of the crates. What are crates? Does someone know what a crate is? Is using warehousing. Okay, this is a crate. Like box. Yes, okay, this is a crate. Do you see it down here? Lo ven aquí abajo? Yes. Okay, a crate is like this, right? It could be made of uh, maybe a little bit of aluminum or metal or box or made out of wood, the madera, right? Made out of wood for forklift to pick it up. Tarima. Yes. Like a tarima. Yes, All right? Those are crates. Those are crates, right? Where you can go with a forklift. This is called a forklift. Este se le llama un forklift, right? And then it lifts so they can store the boxes or the crates they have a crate on top of shelves, right? For distribution, and they normally use them in warehouse, in the warehouse. All okay. Right. So what, what is the name? The name teacher for the montacarga? Sorry. Oh, this. Yes. Okay, forklift. Forklift. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. They. Uh, I know that. Um, for sure, in the United States, all companies that work with distribution they have forklifts right mm -hmm. forklifts 
So if you know how to drive, I'm going to write it here. Por si algún día ustedes quieren ir a trabajar a Estados Unidos y encuentran un trabajo así, forklift. Right? Se le llama forklift. Right? And they normally run on propane. Right? Uh, gas propano normally or electrical. Right? Or electrical. Now, um, they pay pretty good. Pagan algo bien if you know how to drive one of these in a warehouse. Right? About 10, 12, um, unos 15, 20 dólares la hora. Right? So, really? Yes. Wow. So if you know how to drive one of these, right? And normally you get like some kind of a certification. Si agarran certificación, mucho que mejor. Right? You can work in a warehouse. Y lo único que hace todo el día es mover cajas y andar poniéndolos en los camiones, right? Just put them in the 18 wheelers, right? Not like here, right? Que es a puro, a puro lomo aquí, right? <laughs> los sacos, right? <laughs> no, right? It's rare. Allá rara vez se ve eso así, right? You hardly see that, right? Why? ¿Por qué? Porque la aseguranza los, los, les cobra mucho si se lastima un, un trabajador, right? So the big fines are there, but it's, this is called a forklift, right? Um, if you ask me, teacher, you still have one of these? Yes, I have. Right? Yes, I have. It has some different gear, como dos o tres palancas, but it, it's nice. It's pretty good. Right? Let me see. Mm, let me clear this. All right. So I gave you the name, forklift. Y un fork, ¿qué quiere decir fork? No matter, just the word fork. Tenedor. Yeah, right, very good. Eso se le llama como un lift de tenedor, right? It's weird, right? Weird name. But that's what they call them, forklift. Okay, back to the topic. Now, look at these three questions. Okay, look at these three questions. Can you read the first question, please? Um, who hasn't participated? Tema. Thelma, can you read the first question, please? Okay. And the payer work? Yes. Okay, discuss the answers to the questions below. Number one, what causes the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? Okay, cost, what cost? Cost. Very good. Excellent. So what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? You're going to give me your answer and you're going to send it to me. Okay. You're going to send it to me. All right. Uh, by, by chat? Yes. Uh, personally to my phone, to my WhatsApp. Personally. All right. Number two. Thank you. Tell my number two. Okay. Um, Freddy's. Yes, teacher. Number two, what happens to their products? Very good. So what happened to their products, right? Hey, what happened? So you have to answer that one. And then number three, um, Carlos. Yes. Who will, who will pay call to receive the, the month's product? Receive. 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 Very good. Receive. Very good. Who will Pam call to receive the damaged products? Right? Who is she gonna call? Is she gonna call Henry? Is she gonna call you? Who is she gonna call? Not Ghostbusters, right? So let me see. This is going to be in class activity number six. No, number one for unit two. No lo voy a seguir con continuidad. Empezar de nuevo. All right. In class activity number one, page 17. Individually. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes. Remember that the answers are based on the conversation. This is just a critical thinking analysis. All right. Please put the number. Ok, por favor, empiecen a, a poner los números cuando les deje tareas, please, en clase. One, two, and three. All right? Do not just send me the, the answer, right? Put the number in front of it, please. 
just the answer. If you have it in your book, si ya tienes su libro, you can just send me the screenshot or a picture of it, okay? Where you write it here, and you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to give you a few minutes. This is very easy. All right. Okay.
Okay, I'm receiving for the most part two, four, six, six only. Okay, let me begin start writing the names. Thelma, Doris, Jackie, Freddy's, Edwin, Francisco, Neftali, two, four, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to give you maybe two more minutes. Glenda, Jarvin, Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so far I have nine out of nueve de diecinueve, right? Nine of nineteen. Um, I am here, teacher. All right, let me see. Carla. Okay. And we're doing this activity right now, Carla. This activity on page of uh, page seventeen. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Okay, Rolando. Remember, if you want to keep, si quiere llevar un registro también, of what the activities that I take into consideration in class, this is activity number one for unit two. In class activity, individually. Okay. Okay, let me see, can más? Jennifer, all right. Jennifer, thank you for sending it. And Juan Jose. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, thank you. Okay, the rest of you, if, if you want to send it, please uh, send it whenever you can. All right. We will continue. Okay. Can someone give me something in relation to question number one? What What will be the the answer for number one? Someone just give me something. I think that the other form uh, was. Fill out with the issues. Okay, so what caused the problem? The product to be delivered to the wrong distribution. What was the problem? Francisco, can you repeat it? Uh, I think that the order forms was. Uh, were, were, plural. Were, mm -hmm. were fill out okay. with the issues. Okay. On the that, website. On okay. The website. And the website, yes. Very good. And the website. Thank you, Francisco, with the order form and the website, right? A problem with the order forms and the website, right? They had issues with that. Very good. Number two. Someone briefly give me the answer for number two. What happened to the product? What happened to the product? Mm -hmm. uh, was the freight was not handled correctly? And okay. the priorities are damaged. Excellent, that is correct, right? One of the crates was not handled properly and it caused the batteries to damage. Very good, Juan Jose, perfect. Excellent. Number three, what would be the answer to number three? I think that the, she called the, the supplier. 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 Okay. But what do they say here? What does the, the manufacturer? They, they need to go to the manufacturing. Okay, very good, very good. Or what else? Anyone have something else? Check out to to manager distribution center. Yes, very good. The managers, right? Which is I will call them personally, say. 
Le llamaré personalmente, right? That's what she says here. And we're talking about the managers, right? In the distribution. And this is all had to do with the batteries, <laughs> batteries, right? That were damaged to the manufacturer, right? So very good, very good, excellent. Now, this is basically <laughs> all right. Can someone read the definition to logistics? Um, let me see, Jackie. Excuse me, teacher. Hi. Can you can you read please the definition? Okay, Freddy, can you help Jackie? Can you read the definition, please? Me, teacher. Okay, yeah, okay. go ahead, Janari. Logistics. Logistics refers to the movement of goods from point A to point B, which entails two, fu two functions. Two function. Okay, functions. Function. Function. All right, very good. Transportation, transportation and warehousing. Okay. The overall supply chain is a, new, a network of businesses and organizations working in a sequence. Okay, of Se sequence. Sequence, sequence of processes to produce and distribute goods. Very good, excellent, right? So this is the definition for logistics, right? It refers to the movement, ese movimiento from point A to point B, right? La logística, what, what do we need to do to move the product? What do we need to do to receive the product? What do we need to do to send the product to the customers? How are we going to distribute our product or services, right? Like for example, a delivery, right? They go from, from wherever they're at to the store and then they go to you, right? They go nowhere else, right? No le voy a chotear, right? Como decimos, right? They don't go like to different places. They they go from point A to point B. And point A would be like, for example, if you order from Taco Bell, right? And you want the food to you, it goes from Taco Bell to you, right? Those are logistics. Those are, those are a form of logistics. But that is a service, right? Or a service here in class. It goes from me to you, right? A to B, right? Point A to point B, and vice versa, right? We communicate with each other here, and there's a constant communication. And also, if you want to, if you're in the business, right? How many of you, um, algunos de ustedes tienen un negocio, or you have a business, or a family member, or you know someone that has a business that moves products? Anyone? I was for Yes, I, I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was. I worked in a, in a company that they dis, they are uh, dis, they, they distribute some products and and they and they they sell directly to the customers. Okay. And, and for for example, they they have to to transport transportation that they Trans transport transport thank you they 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 they, they, they have to transport uh, for example how can i say uh, kilogramo or quintales okay quintales. Uh, quintales. you're talking about quintales uh i know kilos right kilograms 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 oh. ah. Uh, for example, 500 kilograms uh, to corn, yellow corn, and they the, the logistic is and they 
they have they they do uh, some schedule uh, from distribute the, the product uh, from customer a, a Pedro customer Y customer uh, whatever some uh, as the client mm. and they, they they have to to do some schedule about uh, what day they have to distribute and uh, the, the product or depend on the, the, the people need or the, the, the customer need the product and they have to do the distribute. Okay, very good, mm -hmm. right? Very good. Those are good experience. So you can be able to communicate in this, uh, in the business world, right? understand always logistics, right? Always logistics. Now, anyone else want to share something? Sure. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, logistics. Is this definition is for this topic? Well, it's 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 something related to the topic. It's not. Remember that we have different definitions, right? But uh, this is just okay. this is just giving you extra information, right? This is just giving you extra information, right? This is not in your book. Right. I just put this here to give you a better idea of something about logistics. Right. This is really dealing with business. There is a uh, marketing logistics. I different this logistics. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean uh, about this. Yeah, but I just gave yeah. you something different because we move, for example, here in El Salvador, we normally move everything within the country right within the country aquí vendemos todo right no es que le vendemos a, a Irlandia uh, right so we normally keep everything here right we do sell overseas but not as much as we do the market here within our communities within uh within our society because we have our own companies right la diana and all these different companies our own newspapers right Diario de Hoy and all these other newspapers that Okay, let me ask you something, Rolando. I'm talking about newspapers. You work for the newspaper, right? You said the other day. Yes. Okay. ¿La logística va, va fuera del país? No. Ah, okay. No, so it's only, you, only the here? country. Exactly. We don't right? have this capability. Okay, so <laughs> let me ask you this, Rolando. What is What are the logistics for the newspaper? How do they move their product? Well, uh, we have a trucks that, well, first of all, we made the, we made the product. You know? Okay. And when and, uh, the product are ready, we have a distribution distribution department. Okay. Yeah? And they, uh, they uh, take the, then the package, the package. Exactly. And, and, and uh, for, some routes we have some routes to to depart okay very good very yeah. good let me ask you something yeah and the is this san miguel is, is warehousing do you have a warehouse where you keep all the the stacks of newspapers right when they uh, are finished, when they are finished you normally stack yeah. them in crates right in crates yes and then you distribute yes. them right from point a yeah. to point b right yeah so you have yeah, a... um, the first the first route that we we distrib distrib distribute I can distribute is San Miguel. Okay. Yeah, because it's the the most uh no, it's the longest distance. It's, okay, the longest distance. So y'all take care yeah. y'all take care of the longest first and then come closer, closer, closer to San Salvador, right? Yeah. Yeah. And see. the last and the last is San Salvador. All right, yeah, because yeah. That's, that's great. So you do the logistics that way, right? The logistics mm -hmm. from point yeah. A to point B. So point A will be from San Salvador to San Miguel, right? And yes. then you go normally this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally it's like this, right? From point A to point B. Now this could change. Yeah. You can also have point point A to point B to point C, right? Just like you have it. Yes. Different departments, right? Different departments, right? So this is just a guide. Uh, this is just a guide, Rolando, to help you comprehend a little bit more about logistics, right? 
But very good, very okay. good input about the newspaper, right? You're giving some points about the distribution mechanisms and the logistics to go from point A to point B, right? To San Miguel and then all the way down to San Salvador. Very good, very good. Anyone else that would like to share some information, right? This is great. You get to think about different perspectives. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I think that it's important to know who is the person or industry what we are talking with, uh, because in this situation we are gonna have to to no we are gonna have a solution on time. For example, last week I bought a T-shirt because I said that in my job, and the sites are different than the pictures that they they had sent me. So I had to talk with them and they changed the product and it was okay. Okay, that's great. I'm glad they, they managed to to resolve your issue, right? Resolve your issue, right? And that's great. It's always good to hear that uh, some companies are still doing the right thing, right? Thank you, Carla, for your input about that, right? Yes, it's important to always know your customer because at the end, they make money through the customers, right? And if you give bad treatment or, or bad product, then you lose customers that way. Very good, thank you, Carla. Okay, now, let me see. Now, it's your turn, right? This is your turn right here. And this is, this is where you give, right? So, Rolando, remember what you asked me earlier? Because you have the only definition about logistics. Now it's time for you to give your own definition. What do you think? First of all, <clears throat> let's look at number one. What are the responsibilities of a logistician, right? And what do you think logistics is about? So here's like, what do you think logistic is in your point of view, in your own words, without the teacher putting the definition? What do you think? based on your experience based on what you see i think rolando you're going to be able to give me maybe a different definition or something similar in relation to what we just talked about in the last definition right so here i'm going to put you in groups and i want you to elaborate right i have here some responsibilities for you but i want to see what you think right what do you think? What is your opinion? So I'm going to put you in groups and you're going to discuss what are the responsibilities. No, no más es una. What are the responsibilities of logistician? In other words, if a company hires you to do logistics, what do you think you have to do? And what do you think logistics is? De que se trata? What is it about? What, what does it consist of? This is your own opinions, all right? So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and you're going to speak about it and share, share your ideas. Let me see. Are you ready? One, I'm going to give you a few minutes, okay? for you to elaborate and talk about this. And then we will see some, uh, some of the responsibilities that they really have, right? Ready? One, two, three. Please join breakout rooms. Ask these two questions, okay? I'm going to send it to the group. So in case you need them. All right. Hello, Jennifer.
Jennifer? We're talking about the we're talking about the logistic, right? Um what do you think logistic is about? I think that as the teacher said before, logistic is moving the product from one point. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Freddy. But actually, <clears throat> I'm kind of sick. <clears throat> right now. Yes, I have some flu, and I, it started me to me in today in the morning. Um, it was a uh, weak teacher is weak or devil is correct weak yes weak okay week. it's similar okay. to la semana week also right but they spelled differently okay thank you and uh, the the SWOT analysis was a uh, week I... Okay. I said you. You can see it. Okay, I'm going to read the chat. If the person who who has who who. <laughs> Who is the other one? Because the, the, okay. the current is my cell phone. Okay, I'm going to write just like I I understand it. Okay. First of all, who? Uh -huh. Have. No, has. has. It's has. third person. Has. Yes, has. Singular, right? Has. has. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is the person who has? Two mm -hmm. is the person who has to what? Who has to follow procedures? Who has to follow procedures? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. 
the person that who had to make that the procedure was followed. Right? Mm. No. The person who has to have to, who have to make who has to have to make it doesn't sound right. I don't. I don't. Okay. Well, what are the responsibilities of a logistician? It's the person, the logistician. It's the person, or it's the the. I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. Blanca. The. Oh my God, I forget the name of the business or, or the name enterprise or something like that. Okay, enterprise? Yeah, it's the logistician. It's the person or it's the business? It's the... Yes. Sorry? It's the person. It's the person, right? Yes. Okay. It's the, the person. person. To make. Remember that, okay, uh, there's no, there's no, me. Blanca, there's no reason to write it because you're not going to send it to me. But if you want to write it, you can, right? This is a speaking activity. You're going to talk among ah. each other. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 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 It's just you sharing your ideas. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. okay. What are the responsibilities for a logistic? Hello, teacher. I need okay. your help. Okay, in, in what way? Remember that we're on breakout rooms, right? We're doing an activity in breakout rooms. So we are doing page 17. This is the page right here. Page 17, but I sent this to the group. Can you see the screen? No, teacher. Can uh, you see the screen? This, no. You can't see the screen? No puede ver la pantalla? No? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Right now, yes. All right, so I sent this to the group. Okay. Uh, were you in a group? What group was that? Vi que estábamos en el grupo con Freddy's y Edwin, pero en ese momento perdí la conexión a internet. Y hasta hace unos segundos me he podido conectar a este nuevo grupo. All right, let me see. Let me put you back. You were already with Freddy's, right? Yes. All right. Freddy's, I'm Edwin. Yeah, and Edwin. Okay, I sent you the link. We're, we're almost coming back maybe in a minute. Okay? Okay. So, let me see. Let me go over there. Can you enter? Actually, actually, uh, we, we are in this place near to the Cervantes. Yes, However, yes. Uh, the ex Cervantes is is the, the periódico más. <laughs> oh. Hello, Abigail. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. We're almost okay. finished with the activity, but uh, maybe in one minute, okay? So you can just stay here and wait for the rest to come. So... Okay, teacher, no problem. Okay. I'm late in the class. Okay, no problem, but at least you're here right now. Thank you for joining. Okay. All right, let me see. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. What happened? Where's your other classmate? My classmate told me that she had a problem uh, with the battery's cell phone. Okay. And she she is going to, to connect the cell phone and try to connect connect uh, her in her computer. Okay. All right. We're going back to the main session, okay? okay teacher.
Okay, welcome back, everyone. Let's see. All right. Well, I hope you managed to give your own opinions, your own oversight about the two questions. And this is a way to enhance your critical thinking analysis, right? Your ability to comprehend and communicate with your classmates is essential for your growth. Let me see. I'm going to do the second attendance, right? Voy a hacer la segunda asistencia. I'm going to do the second attendance for those that are here. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's begin. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Present, present. All right. Brenda. Okay, Carlos. Present teacher, I'm here. All right, Doris. Present. All right. Edwin. <laughs> Present. Thank you. Francisco. Francisco. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you. Freddy. All right. Thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, great. Iris. Iris. Okay. Um, Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Jarvin. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. Juan Jose. Thank you. Thank you. Carla. Carla. Okay, no Present. answer. All right, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, no answer. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Hello. All right, great. Thelma. Present teacher. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right, great. And Alvin. Okay, thank you, Alvin. I saw your message. Thank you. All right, let me see. One, two. Okay, we only have two missing. All right. Two missing. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Let me share the PowerPoint again. All right, so you were asked to do these questions with your classmates and give your own opinions about it. Now let's look at some points, some points, and see how close you were when you were talking with your classmates. All right, let's see how close you were. Okay. Can someone begin reading? Let me see who hasn't read. Um, me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, law decision typically do the following. Develop business relationship with suppliers and customers. All right. Work to understand customers' needs and how to meet them. Direct the allocation of materials, supplies, and finished products. Okay. What does allocation mean? Like to ubicación? Yes, like, right? Yeah. The, 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 like the class may say, la ubicación, right? Where we're going to put them, right? The allocation. Relation in, in similar to location, right? Similar to location. Continue, please. Okay. 
Design strategies to minimize the cost or time required to move goods. Review the sources of logistical functions and identify areas for improvement. Very good. Present performance data to management. Propose improvements to management and customers. Stay current on advance or advances in logistic technology and incorporate new technologies into procedures. Procedures, procedures. Procedures, procedures. Okay, procedures, procedures. Procedures. Okay, a little bit better, right? Procedures, procedures. Okay, now, these are some of the things that logisticians normally do, all right? So, Earlier, I gave you a definition about just logistics, right? Similar, right? Remember, there are different there are different uh, logistics in throughout the the work environment, right? Whether it's marketing, whether it's other forms, like I mentioned earlier, commerce, in in the economy, in business. But normally, what any logistician has to do are some of these functions here, right? They have to manage data, right? documents they have to be able to propose proponer they have to be able to propose improvements to customers and management also all right so they they normally do two functions as far as improvements right not just on the outside but in the inside of a company and they also have to be able to design tienen que tener la habilidad de diseñar strategies right design so it's like elaborate write down what do we need to do to minimize the cost or the time to move up but for example you want the best routes right the best route so for example Rolando was talking about the newspaper right the newspaper and Rolando when they come to San Miguel they want to save gas right they don't want to be like going all the way around go to like for example from san salvador to Aguachapan, then to san miguel right no right you want to go to san miguel come back to san salvador and then move around close area right not la gran vueltota, right not do the whole big where you are you're going to lose gas and gas is expensive right and you're going to have to pay the person more because it's a longer trip so you have to, a uh, logistician has to be able to design a strategy, right? And to minimize the cost or time to move the goods. In this case, like Rolando mentioned, newspapers, right? Newspapers. So it's like, okay, uh, you calculate the time, three hours, three and a half hours. I don't know, depending on where you are in San Salvador, right? To San Miguel, right? If you're farther away and you have to be able to design those cost limitations now you and i think carla mentioned earlier hello carla are you here let me see carla mentioned earlier about getting to to know the customer right and this is basically work to understand the customer's needs to sorry teacher i am here okay i was just uh, mentioning about what you said earlier about customers right to understand the customers yeah. and to treat them correctly, right? And to, to be able yes, to understand. Yes, you're right. All right, so we hear something that Carla mentioned earlier. And they have to develop, develop, desarrollar. They have to be able to develop business relationships with suppliers and also with customers. So how many people do you know that are logisticians? Conoce a alguien que esta categoría, in this category? Do you know someone in this category that they get paid to be a logistician? Anyone? I work with dentists. Okay. Okay. Can you share something with the class? For example, in my job, 
I have to see the cost and the time. Mm -hmm. And I and I say the supplier yes or not that I if they I give it as a good plan. And I say yes, I pass the, the process for the logistic the, the logistics team and they follow all the process. Okay, very good. So what Jarvin said has to do something with the next part, the part in blue. Can you read it, Jarvin, for the class? The, okay. The part that is in blue, logisticians. Logistician oversee activities includes purchasing. Including. Including purchasing, shipping and transportation, inventory, warehousing, and delivery. They may direct the movement of a range of the goods, people, or supplier from common consumer goods to military supplies. Yes. Supplies. Supplies. Logistician use sophisticated software system to plan and track the movement of goods. Okay, movement. 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 Very movement. good. And this. Uh, Sophisticated, sophisticated, sophisticated. Yes, very good, right? Sophisticated software, right? So we're talking about computers here, right? Anything that relation in relation to technology, sophisticada, right? De la raíz latín, sophisticated. So now, what Jarvin just mentioned is included here, right? So he takes in paperwork and say, is does he approve or disapprove? of any purchases or or shipping or anything relation in relation to activities with the company right this is something extra also something extra now i'm giving you this extra information for one reason well basically two reasons okay so i want you to analyze this I think everyone's here in the class, right? I think we're only missing one person. So please pay attention to what I am about to say. I gave you this extra, this yellow part. I let you give your own opinions. And I also gave you this part that is not in your book. But I gave it to you to become knowledgeable with a little bit more information and for the activity that you will do not today later on okay ya prepárense para esa actividad it's going to be pretty heavy but you will be rewarded va a haber premios there will be prizes so if you're taking notes si está tomando notas sobre esto la actividad se le va a hacer fácil if you're just like ah después va a decir ah que fue lo que dijo el teacher right it's here you can watch the video later if you want, but there are going to be some questions that are going to come from here. Va a haber algún contenido que va a venir de aquí. All right? It's not a test. So you're like, oh, yeah, la número dos es. No, no, it's not a test. This is information that you have to be able to analyze and comprehend because the activity that we are going to do is going to be individually. And it's going to be in relation to logistics. So just to give you an idea, I'm not going to give you all the information right now, but just to give you an idea, you're going to have to design a company. Ustedes van a ser los dueños de una empresa. You're going to give me the name of the company. Ustedes van a ser los presidentes o dueños, whichever you want to be. And you're going to design. También usted va a ser un logistician. All right? You're going to design. Va a diseñar. Desarrollar. Explicar. You're going to design, develop, and explain your logistic movements. All right? So if you're taking note, be ready for this. All right? You're going to design a company. And después se lo voy a decir de nuevo. Right? So you're going to design a company. You're going to give it a name. Le va a dar un nombre. Un logo y un slogan. Logo and slogan. All right. 
you're going to put your name as either the president of the company or you can say CEO. También puede ser el CEO. Algunos ya saben que es CEO. And for those of you that do not know, it's the chief executive officer. Yeah. All right. So that's what I'm talking about when I mean CEO. I think Yanari is understanding what I'm saying clearly. Yes, Yanari? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I see you. Everything that I say, you like. <laughs> right? Como que ya está lista, right? All right? Yeah. All right. So, teacher, it's like the face of the of the company, right? Yes, you're going to be the chief executive officer. The and, public and, face. Yes, it could be it could be public or it could be private. You decide. You decide how you want to do it. But the main objective here is not el objetivo no es la empresa, all right? That's just to make it look good, all right? It's just a show, right? Here is my company. Here's my slogan, my, my logo, and the company name, and your name as a president, CEO, however you want to, however you want to present yourself, all right? In the, in the economic sector. And then you're going to um, design, diseñar, develop, desarrollar, and explain y explicar. You are also going to be a logistician, all right? A logistician. Remember, we're talking about logistics here. So you're also going to do that function. Usted va a hacer esa función as a logistician, right? Digamos que no hay nadie más si usted está trabajando solo o sola, right? Empezando. You're starting your own company. And you're like, okay, I have to work 12 hours a day. Y después cuando crezca voy a empezar a contratar gente, right? But for right now, it's only you and the company, all right? So imagine yourself, right? You're going to design, develop, and explain the logistics of your company. The logistics of your company. All right? La logística de su empresa. Depending on the product or service, all right? Depending on the product or service. Ahí se va a basar usted, right? <clears throat> All right, I, I prefer, yo prefiero, and I'm saying this as a preference, you do not have to, but I prefer for you not to say, oh, lo vamos a hacer en línea, everything is online. No, uh, then you're not, all you're doing is saying, ah, ya salí del compromiso. No, 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 no. All right? If you're going to do it that way, you can, but ahorita les puedo decir que van a quedar excluidos del premio. Ya automáticamente. All right? So try to do a lot of critical thinking y van a tener suficiente tiempo. You will have plenty of time. And I will let you work in class also. Porque yo sé, I know that some of you work every day y no van a tener tiempo. Right? So voy a usar el tiempo de aquí en clase para que usted empiece a tomar este tiempo para hacer el proyecto, all right? So it's like teacher, pero I don't have time because I work y luego vamos aquí a la clase y tenemos que hacer otra actividad. No, I will give you the time necessary to say, okay, I'm going to give you 30 minutes and you can start designing. Y toman este tiempo, relax and develop your company, all right? You're going to do, how are you going to present it? ¿Cómo lo va a presentar? PowerPoint. You can use any PowerPoint presentation you want, or you can do it in Word. All right. I want to see it nice. Quiero ver algo bonito. I want to see something nice. All right. I want to see something nice. Remember, you are you are considered as the owner or CEO, and also a a logistician. All right. The person that does the logistics. You have to do the. Um, all these reviews, all right? Design, design your, your format, right? ¿Cómo va a mover su producto? How are you going to move your product? What do you need to do? How are you going to reach the customer? How are you going to sell your product? Move it from point A to point B or to point C, it depends, right? Yanar is like, wow, está pensando. All right, so that's just a little, just a little 
input, right? Just, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to write it. Lo voy a poner escrito para que quede bien nítido, so don't worry about it. But for those that are already thinking, ya les estoy plantando la idea. Yanari, you like to say it? Yanari? You mean my mind. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yo puedo leer mentes, Yanari. Así le puedo leer la de Freddy's and the rest of you, right? So, I read your mind, right, Yanari? I looked at you and say, all right. So, you're already thinking, you're already... You're already doing that planification in your mind, right? So I'm sending that seed. Ya les planté esa semillita. And remember, I want the best. Quiero lo mejor de todos, all right? Of all of you. And if you have any questions, you can ask me later. But we will continue. I just wanted to share this. Ya que estamos en este tema. Since we're talking about this topic. And it's fresh, right? Está fresco ahorita, right? The topic is fresh. Like a hot tortilla. Right. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let me see. All right. <clears throat> Here we have, this is page 18, right? This is going to be you when you do your presentation right here, right? Doing the logistics, right? So we have here, we are on page 18. And can someone read, please? the the seven r's remember i mentioned to you earlier about the seven r's um let me see who hasn't read may i try teacher sure jennifer R right product right place right customer right okay uh, quantity. Can you, can you, excuse me ah. jennifer can you read at the beginning please one uh, the right product Right here where it says the one. instruction. Ah, yeah, one of the most popular the top, concepts of the logistic management is the concept of the seven R's. Match the headlines to the corresponding examples. Compare your answer, answer with a partner. Right pro, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, right price. All right, very good. So we have here the seven R's. This is what establishes the seven R's, right? I remember, remember at the beginning when I mentioned this, seven R's, I know probably you were like, ¿De qué está hablando con siete R's, right? Seven R's. This is what we're talking about, right? Right product, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, and right price, right? So those are the important concepts of logistics, the seven R's. For example, remember that products sometimes at the right time, for example, during Christmas, right? Is that a right time to sell a product? If you want to sell a product, do you think in Christmas, during Christmas time, you're able to sell the product, right? Especially fireworks or firecrackers, right? Los cuetes, right? So logistics like, okay, we have to go here, we have to go here because we have to be able to distribute the firecrackers to the public, right? So they have to find the right place, the right customers, and under the right conditions, right? quantity and, and uh, the price, right? So you have to be able to understand these seven elements of logistics. Now we have here seven spaces, and I would like for you to do it and see how well you do. Do not send it to me, okay? Esta no me la van a mandar. You will not send it to me, not this one, because we're going to do it together also. But I'm going to give you a few minutes to do it yourself and be able for you to uh, work individually and try to figure out right, the seven R's here with the concepts here on the side. So for example, let's do number one together and then you can do the rest by yourself. What would be, number one, it says, um, can you read it please, Freddy's? Yeah, Amazon must ensure products and deliver with, within two days if the customer can get it within two days from some other company, 
Okay. And, uh, answer is right condition. Very good, right? Right condition. So we have to put here, let me write it here, the right condition. That is correct. So it would be right condition. All right, maybe it might not fit. Let me see. Mm -hmm. No, it won't fit. But that would be the answer. I'm going to put it here on the side. All right, it would be right condition. All right, that would be the answer. Right condition. <laughs> I can't do it. It'll be here, right? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so we did the first one already. Right condition. We can do it this way also. Let me see. Maybe if you number them on top. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I. That's what I. I was going to do right here. It would be number one. Right. You put number one on right price. Yeah. So oh. I let it go too fast. Let me see if it fits right there. All right, that would be number one. All right, so number one would be the right condition. And then try to do the rest. Do not send it to me, okay? No me lo manden, por favor. Please do not send it to me. We're going to do it in class here in a few minutes. I just want to have you
Okay. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Now, let me see. Okay, what would be what would be number two? Can someone read the? I'll do it. Okay, Me go ahead. Teacher. Oh, go ahead if you want, Jennifer. Okay, go ahead, Jennifer. They must have a strict controls and process to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to right locations. Okay, what would that be? What would be number two? Right place. Right, right place. All right, right place. All right, that is correct. Right place, right here. Let me see. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. 18. All right, what, thank you, Jennifer. Number three, Freddy's. Yes. Is it the right pronunciation, grocers? Yes, grocers. Okay, grocers has to meet quant quantity requirements from their cost customers and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perceivability. Okay. And right. that's, that's right quantity. That would be, what did you say? Right quantity? Yes. All right. Right quantity. That will be number three, right? Yes. Right quantity. Ah, don't stop. All right. All right. That is correct. Very good. Number four. You want me to continue? Yes, please. Okay. A local ketchup manufacturer might sell ketchup to retailers in package and label it, label bottles and to a bulk consumers in big cans. Okay. That will be the right customers. Okay, right. Customer, right? Yes. Let me find the right customer right here. That will be number four. All right, very good. All right, now um, I'm going to to read the, for the the number five. Okay, great. Okay, Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to the retailer stores and customers. That it's the right price. Very good, the right price. Excellent, right price right here. That would be number five. Okay, very good, that is correct. Number six. Number six. Okay. Number six. Hello? Oh, Carla, Carla. Juan Jose, okay. go ahead. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, products that the customer need either today or in the future. Smartphone, laptop, HD, TV, etc. Product, right. Mm -hmm. Product, right. Don't just start product, right. Right product. Right, right product. Right. Oh, okay, excuse me, right product. Yes. Okay, all right. right Very good. Good. Okay. Right no product. Problem. Right product. Thank you. Yes. All right. Right product right here. All right. Very good. And the last R. Can someone just read the last one? Go ahead, uh, Juan Jose, finish, please. Okay. Uh, you H U L has to warranty that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customers. Uh, right time? 
Very good, excellent. The right time, right? The right time. This is important to understand the seven R's, right? Right product, right price, right place, all those different right, right, right. Those are the seven R's of logistics, right? The seven R's of logistics that you have to be able to understand. Now, I want to ask you something. What is, what is perishability? All right, does someone know what is this word? Perishability? This word right here. It's like uh, when one product was like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe. Can someone explain it to me? Like. Perecedero. <laughs> uh huh. Product is not um, uh, for enough time, permanent for enough time. It's not. Like okay. the meat that has a short time to, to, to be useful. Very good, very good. That's pretty much the summary, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the summary of it. Now remember that um, when you're in, in a, these are key grocers, right? We're talking about a grocery stores, right? Estamos hablando como de tiendas, como de productos, like super selectos, you know, that sell groceries, right? Like vegetables and different things of that nature, right? And when we talk about perishability, we're talking about time, el tiempo de un producto, que después ya no se puede vender, all right? So you have to limit yourself. How many of you have seen, um, if you go to the market, right? Sometimes you can find uh, guineos a 20 por un dollar. Are you not? Yes. And the person like trying to sell them. Why? Because ya se están madurando, que ya no, they're, they cannot be consumed. So they have to. In, in short time. Yeah, exactly. So they have to sell it, right? O si no se desperdicia, right? And then they need to vende, ni se compra, ni se consume, right? So it's like a total loss. So when you go to grocery stores, sometimes even, I have seen it and I know all of you have also. Some, be careful. Tengan cuidado en esto. <clears throat> be careful. When you see sometimes that they're selling products, especialmente dairy products, productos como de leche, queso, stuff like that, that they're real cheap. Y se lo quieren dar, mire, está tres por uno, whatever, right? Be careful. Be careful. No se dejen llevar. Be careful. Yo lo Exactly, right? Check the label for due date. La fecha de vencimiento. Be very careful with that. This is what we're talking about, perishability, right? Que llega un tiempo that it has to be like sold. And sometimes like, yeah, mira, tres por uno. Ah, yeah, cheap, right? Al día dos dólares, compré 75 centavos. Mm, para el siguiente día ya está vencido, right? So be careful, all right? Be careful because I have... I have seen that, no más de una vez, variety of times, in different stores, whether I need it, tenemos esto jugo, esto yogur, o lo que sea, right? And I say, oh, really? And then when I look at the date, miro la, la fecha de vencimiento, le digo, oh, esto se vence en dos días. So it's like, me tengo que consumir ocho yogurts en dos días? Come on, right? <laughs> so, but they don't tell you, pero uno no le dicen que en dos días se vence. No más le dicen el, right? They just tell you like, oh, yeah, a for two, a for a dollar or whatever, right? And then you're like, hey, it's a big offer. It's a big offer, right? It happens boom. a lot of Maxi Despensa. Yeah, I, I've seen it in uh, Maxi Despensa. I've seen it in Super Selectos. Yeah. I've seen Walmart. it in, in Walmart. And I've seen it in other stores, right? Be careful. And it's not just here. 
no no más aquí en Salvador. I've seen it also in the United States, right? Where they try to get rid of the product. So don't think it's just here. Que la economía, no, it's everywhere, right? In different parts, right? But it's up to you. You decide if you want to buy. Con tal que, no, que ellos digan que no se la vendió vencido, they're clear. They are clear from all legal, <laughs> they are clear from all legal activities. So remember that. Keep that in mind. This is in relation to perishability. All right. So that's just an idea of what this word means in the business, right? Now, all right, class, let me let me stop it here. Um, think of your own experience as a customer. What do you think? What do you think as a customer? I think Carla mentioned something earlier about a shirt, right? What do you think about you as a customer? This is pair work, but I'm going to do it here in class. Nos quedan como unos, what, 12, 15 minutes or something. And think of your own experience as a customer in relation to the right condition, the right product, the right place. Where has logistics touched you? ¿Qué forma ha topado usted con la logística de una empresa? Was it in the right price? Was it in the right place? Que de repente you go, all of a sudden you're going down somewhere and you're like, oh, the, oh, I'll be wanting to buy this product, right? And you see it. It's like the right time, right? Have you ever bought something? ¿Ha comprado usted algo en su vida que no lo andaba buscando, pero le llegó a sus manos? It's like, <laughs> like it just happened. You just happened. It's like what, right? It's like wow. When right? I go to the the, the the Dollar City, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. We're like, hey, I needed this, right? Y aquí está, right? I've been looking for something like this, right? Was that at the right time? Y que hay también at the right price, right? No puede ser, mira qué barato está, right? Look, look how cheap it is, right? And I've been looking for something like this. I'm going to give you an example, right? That happened to me. On my on my door, there's a there's a door on the side by the kitchen, right? And it's a door that is made out of glass. It's the vidrio. It's made out of glass, right? But at the bottom, it has like a little thing, <clears throat> like a little, I don't know how you would say it in Spanish, but it's like a little lip. Como un labio así que, que da vuelta para que no se meten los animalitos o, o el agua, right? When, or something like that, right? So it has the door and then it has like a curve, right? And it's made out of, uh, it's a design, right? But it was, se estaba despegando. It was uh, coming apart, right? So I was like, how can I, how can I glue it? I can use super glue, right? But I said, no. If it's super glue, then if I want to change it later on for a different color, but then I can, right? It's going to be stuck too solid. So I was looking for a tape, un tipo de tape que tenga dos lados de pegamento. Yes, yeah. both sides, right? And I was like, I went to Bidri and I went to Freon, but un rollito así costaba como seis dólares. And I was like, no, and it, it was one, two, three, eran tres puertas. And I was like, no way I'm going to spend like $25 for a tape. You know, my eran los, los lados, right? It was only the edges that were a little bit loose. Ya estaban como despegándose. And I happened to go to Dollar City, ya que lo mencionó alguien. <laughs> I went to Dollar City, right? And I went to go buy some other things. It was uh, some gloves, unos guantes, right? Just to do some yard work. Like aquí en la yarda, and I needed some gloves, right? To chapodear un poquito in the front right, for the yard and the little plants that I have right there, right? So, and I see the rows, veo los rollos de eso, and I was like, $1.99? Uno no, I was like, what? And there were this- I need this. Yeah, I need this, right? So I took like, like three rows, and it was like $6 versus like $25 at Bidri, and I was like, Right? Yeah. So I fixed that, right? That's just an experience that I wanted to share. What about you? Have you just, it's like all of a sudden you go looking for something and you end up with something else because you needed it. It was the right price at the right time and the right quantity, right? And I see rollo, right? So can someone share an experience? Right place, right? Dollar City. 
the right product. Anyone would like to share the seven R's as your experience as a consumer? Anyone? Please feel yes, free. I remember, teacher, it that in one occasion I buy, I bought. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say desarmador? A screwdriver. A screwdriver. Uh, maybe in this moment is it a a big offer because only one dollar for three ram drivers. Three no. screwdrivers. Yes, screwdrivers. Yes, you want me to write it for you? Okay. Screw. Yes. Screw driver. Driver. Ah, okay. okay. Let me change the the color twenty four. All right. Screwdrivers like this in plural, right? Singular one screwdriver. Screwdriver no. plural. All right. Okay. All right. In in the for from of of the cashier, uh, sometimes they. Put the una carretilla con a car, a, a car with with some things. Um, they have a a promotion that one dollar for for three a screw driver. Screw, screw, a screw, a screw driver. All right, very uh, good, very good. <laughs> right, so you got yourself a screwdriver. Yes, a, a good promotion. All right, great, great. Anyone else? Any other person that would like to share something? Yeah. In my case, I found a, a, a angle grinder. Ah, a I, grinder. Yeah, actually I was looking for- Grinder. For a quality angle grinder that would be so expensive and it will, it will be, that will give me a good, Guarantee. So I was buying some other things, a frame, and I found a, a, a Stanley mm -hmm. angle grinder. So I asked for the guarantee, and they told me it was two years. So I, I paid, I actually, I don't remember if I paid $80 for it, but I think it was a good price because it came out with a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, normally they're around a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you got yourself a deal there. Very good. Please. Anyone else? One more. Anyone else? All right. Let me continue. What is a grinder? Can you tell the, the class what is a grinder? Eh, Pulidora. Huh? Pulidora. Yeah, right. That is a, a grinder. Oh, también puede ser el esmeril, right? Yeah. Right. For those of you that work in shops or that do paint jobs or mechanical, I'm mean, not mechanical, but metal work, metal work. Okay, let's clear this. All right, now, <clears throat> can someone share, for example, hmm, what would be, what would be a good price? What would be a good price for? Now I'm going to, what do you think about this price? I'm going to ask your opinion. I'm going to ask your opinion. What do you think about the price of having like five or six hocotes for a dollar? It's too <laughs> Depend, the teacher. Depend. All yes, right. depend. depend is the season. Uh, the corona. <laughs> ah, it's time to time, right? There, that is the thing right there, right? So we're talking about the right product, right? Is it corona or a regular hocote, right? So if you have corona, I was surprised. Yo pensé que I was like, no way, right? Six hocotes for a dollar. And I was like, come on, really? But then it was like, no, son Corona. And I was like, well, what, what is Corona, right? What do you mean by Jocote Corona, right? I remember years ago, right? Eh, como no sabía distinguir cuál, Jocote era cuál, right? I didn't know. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot eat green Jocotes, right? I like to eat the red Jocotes. So when he told me six, I was like, ah, ah me quiere bajar, right? This guy wants to get over me. And then I noticed 
that that is the average price sometimes six eight and max for a dollar right and i was like why and they say oh it's because it's corona right it's corona <laughs> right and i was like come on right but um I ended up buying some, compré, right? I still bought some, right? Because I wanted to taste them. Lo quería probar, right? Como aquí no le venden un jocote a uno, right? So it's like, so I had to buy all of them, right? But they were good. They were good, right? I think it was a great dollar well spent, right? En vez de comprar una Coca-Cola, I bought six jocotes, right? So, uh, uh, but honestly, it's healthy. Was, yeah, it was healthy and it was a great experience for me because I didn't know the product, right? And there's still some products, hay algunos frutas that I still do not know, right? But I, I normally like to buy them to taste, right? Como la nona o la guanaba, those, I love those, right? But, jicama. yeah, right, jicama. I think I haven't eaten jicama in, like, in years. Llevo años de comer jicama. It's been a sí. while. Yeah, right? It's been a while. Let me see. Okay, now. We are almost finished. We have just a few minutes, right? Just a few minutes. And I'm going to do the final attendance. And please remember about this activity. I will give you the, the full information about it when the time comes. All right. Let's see. Abigail. All right, thank you. Blanca? Blanca? Present. Great, thank you. Brenda? Okay, let me change right here. Carlos? Carlos? I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Edwin? Okay, not here. Francisco? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Fredis? I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda? Present teacher. Thank you. Iris? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarman. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jennifer. Present. Okay. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla. Carla. I am here. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, he didn't join the class. Zero. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Present. All right, thank you. Thelma. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Janari. I'm here. Okay, great. And Alvin. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me send this. Class number six. Today is Edwin. Right. Edwin stays today, but I don't know if he's he's not here right now. All right. Now let me see. Okay, Alvin, thank you. I put you down present. Now the when are we going to do this activity? I see it says, pregunta. If you're asking yourself that question for when, it's going to be sometime next week. Okay? Sometime next week. So you have time to think about it. Okay? Remember that you can always watch the recording in YouTube about, about the class. I put the class is going to be available probably after 12 because I have to download and, and download here and then download it to YouTube. So remember to be prepared when we do this activity, all right? Be prepared. Now, how long do you have to give your presentation? 
I'm going to do it in two parts. Lo voy a hacer en dos partes. Why? Because it's a lot of you, right? Y si tú hablas cinco minutos, it's like, oh, de aquí que venga la otra persona. Be, right? So I don't want to take a whole class in doing just one activity. So I'm going to separate it in two days. Voy a hacer dos días. Two days for this presentation. All right? And I'm also going to give you time within the class to work on it, okay? Because I know some of you work. Y no les quiero quitar el tiempo también que tengan libre or something. We can do it here in class. And that way you can ask me questions. If you have doubts about vocabulary or just any other questions, you can do it here. All right? That is going to be part of the agenda for this um, for this uh, unit, all right? The other thing is that remember that after week two, después de la semana dos, after we finish unit two, I have to send, me están pidiendo que someta el informe individual de cada uno de ustedes, all right? So I have to do a small report next to your name y que va incluido en ese reporte. Eh, 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 la asistencia, eh, si llega temprano a clases, eh, si participa en clases, si hace las actividades en clase, right? si se mantiene activo durante las, eh, las actividades que pongo en grupal, todo eso, todo eso lo voy anotando, right? y al final hago un mini summary, a mini summary para, para mandarlo a, a la administrativa sobre su progreso. Right? Ellos quieren saber su progreso. Right? So I do one there. And if I need to do a modification, I can do it at the end, al final también, right? Because I can see like, okay, the first two weeks, it's like, yeah, doing great. Y ya al final, it's like, mm, right? So if I can do some modification, I just want to let you know that for the most part, the majority of you are doing awesome. Felicito a todos aquí porque siempre participan, right? Y algunos que siempre, right? Sin que yo les llame, participan. And I just take note of that. Right? Just remember that. This is, remember, this is for you. Right? This is for you. It's about ustedes. These classes are for you. And it all depends on how much you want to progress. It depends on you. Right? I am here to guide you. I am here to give you everything that I know. And keep learning the English language. Right? And remember that. Okay, class. I see you tomorrow. Thank you for your participation as always. Right? And I believe only one person missed today, but everybody else is here. Have a good night. And I see you tomorrow. Same time. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Good, good, good night. Good night for all. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Okay. Good, good, good rest. Good night. All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.